Kroger customers, you may have been overcharged for basics like milk and eggs. An executive for the grocery store chain acknowledged to keeping some prices high in areas where Kroger had fewer competitors, even after inflation had eased. A spokesman calls the comments cherry-picked, but all food shoppers are feeling the pinch this Labor Day weekend as they gather around the grill. While inflation has fallen below 3 percent for the first time since 2021, food inflation remains a problem. CBS's Janet Shamlian digs into the issue. The unofficial end of summer, officially arriving with higher prices for that Labor Day barbecue. Prices have gone up. Most all prices are up. Uh, The wings here especially have really escalated in price. This is Bud's House of Meat in Houston. How much product will you go through this weekend? We're going to go through a lot, about 1,600 pounds of leg quarters, 2,000 pounds of sausage, 5,000 pounds of ribs. I need you to go help cut orders. Owner Tim Heiner also stocks all the barbecue side dishes, including dessert, plus staples like milk and eggs. Eggs are crazy. Eggs are about $1.50, almost $2 more than my cost was last year. For shoppers, the price of a dozen eggs is up 47 percent, now averaging more than $3. In one year, hot dogs are up almost 10 percent, ground beef nearly 8, ribs more than 4 percent, and beans 6 percent. That beer you plan to wash it all down with has increased more than 3 percent. What'd you buy today? Steak. How much did it cost? $28. What did you think it would cost? About 10. (laughs) Even with inflation cooling, Experts say prices are rising due to higher labor costs, drought conditions, and in the case of beef and poultry, low inventory. Bird flu also taking a toll. Has it changed your buying habits? To some degree, yes. Mm -hmm. There are some things that I just rarely buy, I don't buy anymore. Even some meat products I don't buy anymore. But they are still buying. You can see it's busy in here tonight, right before closing time. More than 70 percent of consumers say they will celebrate Labor Day, a majority planning to grill or barbecue with family and friends. Nancy? Now you've got us all really hungry, Janet. Thanks so much, Janet Shamley in Houston tonight.